I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Cho, 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 yo, hold up, hold up, whoa, whoa, whoa. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me, right? Salute to all of the subscribers and supporters of this channel, myself and Showtime SP, and everything that we got going on. We're not going to always get it right, but, you know, we're going to continue to strive to do what we do. So, Sue Surf, salute to Sue Surf, ARP. They've been exchanging buckets going back and forth. ARP drops a blog at like 5 in the morning. I don't even know what he was doing up this early. He drops a blog and he had a lot to say in it. I actually got notes and then um, Sue Surf sees it and responds to it. This one going to be interesting though. I'm going to be honest with you. To keep it a buck, I got to be honest. This one's going to be interesting because ARP, owner of Rare Breed Entertainment, uh, he's been building this platform for quite some time now and you know to the, the general consensus a lot of the fans They love what RBE does they put on for the culture. They had a verb versus Mook They had a lot of big battles over there. They got a lot of million view battles over there They're the house of some talent. You know what I'm saying they, they do have pretty good events when when rare breed entertainment puts on cards People watch they respond they react to them, but everybody knows they've had a long-standing back and forth um, issue with URL, you know, Ultimate Rap League, respect to what they got going on. And um, Sue Surf, who is one of the biggest topics, biggest names, he's one of the biggest draws. And, you know, I watched his interview with Danny Myers um, where they were confronting him about not giving it his all, like not wanting to, not, not I'm not going to say want to, not giving it his all. He basically talked about his music and his books and he just made, he talked about a lot of things that he had going on which is the reason why his battles may fall short. Jersey. Um, so, Sue Surf tags ARP and says, the least you could do is tag me. Saying, you know, because ARP put out the blog and he didn't tag him. So ARP said, my apologies at Sue Surf, tag you it. I'm trying to land a shark by dinner time. Saying he's trying to land a shark by dinner time. So then um Sue Surf responds, same shark you told to shove that 30,000 up your ass. URL gang. You gonna make me sign a contract just to come spit on your floors each round. Now he starts talking spicy. Sue Surf is a hellified promoter. He can promote, he talks with the best of them. Um ARP responds, now you talking, I'm with it. Let's make it a one-rounder to open the show. Can't have you main event in the Rucker. They expect games to be complete over here. <whistles> fires, fires, fires. Now this all stems off of the ARP blog that he dropped earlier where he did say a lot of things. ARP said he was talking about Jersey supposed to mean something. Like Old Red is uh, allegedly shedding the whole Jersey standing for choke or Jersey standing for cutting the round short or whatever the case may be. But he's saying Jersey supposed to mean something. He also said uh, you've been warned. He said trust is, uh, he said Surf's best talent is his gift of gab. He also said, uh, a he said Sue Surf said ARP tried to cash him out. And he said the cashed out shit is dead. Then um, ARP also, and then these are just things that I got from his blog. He said that ten thousand dollars that you're playing with, you know, what I'm saying I'll make a bet. He said you don't want to put that ten grand up, and he was saying basically saying Sue Surf is making fake bets, and he's saying you don't complete your third rounds. Like he's basically saying Sue Surf be Jersey, he don't complete his third rounds, and if he ever booked them, if that was to happen, he'd have to book them in a style where if you don't finish your third, you don't get paid for it. Uh, he said uh, that because. Surf was in the interview saying that Mook and Verb didn't matter and basically saying Rare Breed Entertainment did not matter. If it doesn't happen on URL, it doesn't count. You know what I'm saying? And then um, it, it, people was going on to say that Goods, the Mavs, the John Johns would clearly beat him. And this is just like a long, 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 long standing thing. You know what I mean? And ARP was quoted saying he only dropped two shells out of a 30 clip. Saying that he has a 30 clip, a, a 30, 30 clip ready for Sue Surf as far as with um, him allegedly trying to book him and things like that. 
versus Mav Hoffa. And I know Mav Hoffa's been very outspoken about Sue Surf and had his things to say. And Sue Surf also had an interview about Mav Hoffa on Hip Hop Is Real, basically saying that Mav is trash, Mav is ass, he can't even get on the same cards as him, saying that, you know, you was getting booked. When you was getting booked, I was in high school. I was watching you as, as a kid and I've grown up and you can't even get booked on the same cards as me. That's his standing viewpoint towards Math Office. Just basically saying Math is trash. He was just he was just trashing everything about Math and saying that Math's last two battles were against people that have two battles combined or one battle combined. Cause he was like Jag and Method Man. You know what I'm saying? Cause Method Man only got one battle on Cam. He said Jag has two and one is against Math. So um you know it's like when it comes to the business, a lot of things get drug out and thrown into the forefront when people aren't really feeling each other. You know what I mean? And I know that Sue Surf probably, and like I said, I'm not putting no words in, he probably was just using his standpoint about Rare Breed Entertainment as his talking point because they associated math with a Rare Breed. So in order to tear math down even more, he wanted to bring up the fact that Rare Breed's battles don't count. So it tore down the league while trying to tear down math. Thing about Rare Breed Entertainment is that ARP is definitely gonna jump in front of his camera. He's gonna address whatever he needs to address. He's going to talk about it. You will not be able to spew the negativity or whatever it was that he was trying to get out about the league without having to hear the backlash. Now, Sue Surf, is a draw. He is the type of person that once he says anything, cameras is on, people gonna be talking, and that's just the way the news goes. Like that's they 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 gravitate towards the bigger names. And like like ARP was saying, Sue Surf is a great promoter. Like he could talk very well. Like he's got the gift of gab. He gets people in their feelings. He starts throwing money around. He starts talking his talk. And when Sue Surf said in the interview that he be having a lot of shit going on. He's opening up stores in his local community now. That's a that's a definite noble thing to be opening up hair salons and barbershops to try to give back and bring business into the black neighborhood. I definitely respect that. He said, uh, you know, when he gave his all in battles like versus Geechee Gotti and had three rounds, nobody really bigs that up. People big that up. People gave that mad love, mad props, mad admiration. You beat Reed, mad love, mad props, mad admiration. Came up short versus 40, it is what it is. Came up short versus Lux, it's a what have you done for me lately society, you know what I'm saying? Like people are going to go off of what they see, you know what I mean? If Sue Surf is not doing good in back-to-back -back main event battles, fans are gonna talk, they're gonna say that you do not have third rounds. That will be your <laughs> narrative. The narrative will be you don't have a third round, you're not gonna be prepared. Um, I think it's interesting, but ARP, like Sue Surf, all of his highs and shortcomings are, are, are public knowledge. So there's a lot of darts that ARP can throw in order to pick Sue Surf apart because he's good at that. That's what he does. That's what ARP does. He is a hell of a break. Like his breakdowns, like when he starts throwing darts and you in the target, he could break a motherfucker down. Like he'll bring up shit from like, remember back in 2016, you said boom. And then 2014, you was like boom. But in 2009, you wanted to be on the league, like boom. Like he, he, he breaks it down. And then he said another very interesting thing. That when it comes to me, uh, people could get money off my name. Just say that I'm trying to book you and people will pay you not to battle over here. He basically, Surf basically said that he got paid, cashed out to not battle over there. Um, and that's not the first time that I've heard that an artist has been paid to not battle on another platform. Now, if a league feels like they got that much money, but they gonna pay somebody to not battle somewhere, well, sheesh, that's different. I mean, I don't know how great that is for business. Maybe, uh, hopefully, if they're getting paid to not battle over there, they're getting paid for a battle somewhere else. I would hope that that is a scenario, but if it's not, uh, it just looks crazy all around. But, <laughs> I got my guy Showtime SP. He wanted to drop his thoughts on that ARP blog. And we out of here. Gang! Boy show time and speed to nobody that knows bodies pow, and all of that. I'm pow, throwing out all of these shots because pow, ARP got plenty in the clip. Oh, if you didn't see it, some of y'all need to see it. 
But I'm glad you had the chance to, you didn't put it out until you let me get some of this. Because I had to get some. I had to get some of this. Because this, this one, who, hey, 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 ARP, what, 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 sir, do you, what, what, what? I mean, I know what he did. I mean, I know what was said. I, I mean, I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because you was pre, you was being pretty general. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you was being direct enough, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? ARP is so throwing out a lot of shots uh, at uh, Sue Surf. And it's not really shots if if it's facts that backs it up. All I'm saying is it ain't looking good for Surf. It ain't it ain't looking good. Whatever bag that he was going to get on RBE, don't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. I'm, I'm, that's just me. I'm from the outside looking in. Couple things. One of them. Uh, ARP says, uh, that, uh, 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 I know, I know who did you know what with you know who, but let's just keep that between me and Sue. Ooh, 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 we'll leave that one by itself. We'll leave that one. We'll just say never mind. Number two, it's better, it's so much easier to say fuck you than thank you. Oh, 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 that hit me here. Up, uh, yep, yep. That definitely went through. That 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 caught the hole right there. Shots are fired, and it's. I mean, it, you got to look at it on a on a standpoint of. Is it true? I mean, we we can definitely see that uh, as a as a league owner, um, as a representative uh, uh, for a league that I'm pretty sure that has tried to put out multiple offers, um, you know, to to other battle rappers and who have paid them. Um, you know, and they had done everything accordingly. They came and done three rounds. ARP ain't trying to gamble that, man. He ain't trying to gamble that. I understand. Is the battle versus uh, math very suited and booted? Yes, I wouldn't want, I would rather this battle be only on RBE. Prove us wrong, sir. This would be the one. This would be the, you, you ain't too good on the away game, sir. Let's, not, let's be honest here. We got to keep it a buck, let's be honest, all right? Uh, uh, and, and the final thing that I, uh, that I got from this was, you call my phone, you get paid. That's talk, right? That, that's, that's, that's talk, you know, because, you know, there's this word of, you know, if you, you, you know, you call his phone, I can then call somebody else and get a counter offer, and then then I can then get out of that counter offer. So therefore, I ain't got to. So literally, I can just get paid to not battle. I I just can't get with it, man. I can't get with it, you know. But salute the ARP, salute the everything that he got going on, salute the rare breed entertainment. I'm just glad, Vada, you let me in here. Now, if you don't excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and slide on the body because I think I see an ARP circling the block and I just don't want to be here when it happens. I'm just so